Hi everyone, this is James from F9 Audio and the Freemasons and welcome to this walkthrough guide to our Zeus effects pack. The main idea behind Zeus was to create a completely cross-genre pack covering all elements of electronic dance music, screenwriting and pop productions. A lot of the sounds were sourced from completely original uh, hardware machines and I'm talking all of the old analogues as well as some really esoteric and strange digital devices and these were then processed to be production ready by the world's finest software. The best thing for me to do is to show you all of this actually in action. So I've pulled up one of the F9 Drum Tracks products and we're going to start layering effects on top of effectively just a simple drum framework and a bass line. <laughs> So there's nothing spectacular about that for the moment and apart from some clap and snare reverbs there's no effects in this track as we speak so let's start adding them with some of the Zeus effects. I'm going to come down to the Zeus master folder and one thing that we've worked really hard on here are the risers and fallers. We've got some analog time risers that are all uh, from vintage synths using the noise oscillators and some of the pitch oscillators of that. Uh, we've got uh, digital time risers and when I say time risers these are all set up uh, to, ha to happen within a certain bar length and the ones that that are sometimes really useful, what we call pitched risers. Now, I know that this tracks in F, and uh, in the pitch risers here, if I go down to the Ableton versions, I call them Ableton because they've actually got ASD files already in the file structure, so you can just drop them straight in. Um, I'm going to pick one of them here. Let's get one at random. How about this? F1, 16 bar. You can hear it start there. What it's going to do is uh, rise up in pitch and then fall on the actual ending of the 16 bars on an actual note and this note is in the key of F which is in the key that our bass line's in so I should be able to drag and drop this and get it straight into our production. Here we go. So they're perfectly on the downbeat, you're actually hitting the exact note of the key of the track. Great fun these. So um, that will show you the kind of power of that system and we've got variations of that in 16 bar, 8 bar as well. Now let's add some analog love to this. So we're going to use some of the noise and pitch risers from the analog timed risers. And I think we'll go for an 8 bar just to fit alongside this. <laughs> So already I've just taken three sounds, dragged and dropped them onto an Ableton page and it's working beautifully. Um, now the Ableton files are actually just standard WAV files so any other sequencer can use them. And there's also Apple Loops available as well. So now we come to this breakdown, we actually need some what I like to call punctuation, some action to get uh, a little bit of drama into the track. And let's start uh, from the top end down. We're going to go to the crashes section. Now we've got three types of crashes here, the standard kind of white noise crashes. as many as we could analog sourced and then we have uh, standard cymbal crashes that's from an old session I did years ago actually and um, this is a brand new kind of concept in crashes it's kind of halfway between um, real world recordings and then actually high-end information so there's a little bit of cymbal sizzle in there there's some white noise and there's also some found sound so you get this kind of really complex atmosphere with them And that sounds like a perfect one to actually just add to this breakdown. So I'm going to bung it straight on to the page, just level it a little bit. Uh, oh, pardon me. And that should just be the beginning of our breakdown. <laughs> Now let's jump to the other extreme. We've got a whole series of sub effects in this pack. And I do say be careful with them because some of them have a lot of subsonic information. Um, let's find some of the sub hits first. Yep, 
Yeah, they're all great, but I actually want something that's going to fall. So we've got a section here of subdivers. Perfect for a breakdown. Let's chuck that in. <laughs> And you can't go wrong with a good old bass drum explosion in these cases. So let's have a look at our reverberant section. And we need some epic booms. Ah, there we go. Let's try that. There's an old 9 and 9 kick shoved through as much vintage reverb as we could find in the studio. And this is what it does. <laughs> Now you'll notice on all of these effects there's hardly any side chaining. We thought that's something everyone now knows how to do. There's no point writing it into the audio files. So all of these crashes, all of these rises, apart from any kind of um, 16th or 8th uh, cyclic wobbling that we've actually put into the sounds, uh, very few of them have got any side chaining written in. So you can do all of that yourself. Um, let me show you quickly what I mean. I'm just going to grab all of them together. So a quick tip here for live users, it's well known that the compressor in Live 8 was better at handling sidechain duties than the compressor in Live 9. Um, to get access to the old compressor, you need a copy of Ableton 8 somewhere. Open up a project completely blank, stick one compressor on one channel and save it off. Then open that project up in Live 9 and then save the compressor as a preset. I've got mine here, it's called Old Comp and when I dump it in, I get the old compressor each time. Now, no breakdown is complete without a whole series of analog nonsense on its actual start. And we've got some great fallers here. Uh, all sorts of things like Jupiter 8's uh, The Moog and Sequential. Um, let's have a look at this one, Jupiter 8 track. Okay, that's fairly heavy, but let's give it a go. Let's just chuck it in on our breakdown and see what happens. <laughs> And as we're coming back into this section, obviously we're going to need something in reverse. Um, we're going to the reversal section, again, a huge amount of stuff. Now, anything that's got a letter by itself here is actually the key that that reverse uh, is in. Some of it is um, pitched information and some of it uh, is just kind of noise information. So let's have a look at Hot Potato F. Sounds good already. Let's chuck it in. And the best thing to do with reversals is just line it up so that the end of it hits the downbeat. Let's have a listen. Now let me introduce you to some of the real power of this pack. So far we've just been grabbing audio files from the folders and dropping them straight onto the range page. Sure, that's great, uh, but some of the real power is in the sampler instruments. And I'm going to pull up contact here because all of the sampler instruments in this pack have a custom contact GUI. So here's a list on the left in contacts file browsers of the patches available for contact within the pack. Um, now don't worry, it's not just contact. EXS24 is covered, Halion is covered, Structure is covered, and there's even some Ableton racks. Um, any of the instruments that have a single letter at the end of their file name, that relates to the key that that actual patch is in. Now we're in F on this track, and I'm going to take some of what we've described here as organic melodic effects and chuck them into uh, contact. Now let me just talk you through the GUI, fairly straightforward, you've got attack and release controls, a convolution um, reverb setting that will throw it into a, a specially designed very long vintage reverb preset, a stretch control, and let me just play some of the keys of this pack, uh, everything's in Time Stretch Pro so you'll quickly see what I mean. Normal first, sped right up, and then stretched right out. There's a great saturation control here. 
Just adds a bit of dirt. Stereo width control. And standard filtering. And these can all be assigned animation presets in the standard contact manner. So I'm just going to take a little bit of the uh, bottom off and let me show you what I can do with this selection of what we call organic melodics in this track. Now it's basically a whole menu of great little sounds that you can just fire into tracks. Let's try it in this. So to have those menus actually in key, you can hear, it's great fun to kind of add. Another melodic source in the pack I'm really, really happy with are these so-called Vijas. Now they're named after a baddie in a Jerry Goldsmith score, uh, but they're the kind of trailer horns that you hear on things like the Inception soundtrack and other Hans Zimmer productions. Um, now I've got a small confession to make. On this one, Zeus Vija F, we got the pitching wrong. It's actually exactly the same pitches as Vija C. So grab it and turn it up either to plus five or to minus seven on the contact instrument. Sorry about that. We will update the pack at some point. There's always one thing that kind of slips through. But let me show you what these do. It's designed to add real drama at bar lines and let me show you exactly what I mean. I'm going to fire a couple of them off on both ends of this breakdown. <laughs> So I've now added those new parts into our sidechain group. Uh, just so you can see the difference, let me play you back this breakdown without any zoos. And now with. So there we go, we're already starting to build up uh, a great effects bank for this track within minutes. Now I thought the best way to show you the rest of the content of the pack, because we're not really even halfway through, was to go through some of the other sampler instruments. Now here I've got the glitch section up, uh, bearing in mind anything in these sampler instruments, they are all still available in their own folders as standard WAV files, if you want to process them they're easy to get to. But this is just, the menus are some of the most fun. <laughs> And the beginnings of the organic melodic you've already seen, but let me just show you a little bit more on this. And we've got two banks of more percussive sounds that were all built on the uh, studio's hardware synths. Now the reversals you've already seen, but um, these are all in key, so you can just hit a random chord on the keyboard and get some great stuff. Mm -hmm. 
and I'm sure you can hear just how useful this is going to be on ambient music. Now we've got some of the short effects. Once again, sourced from the hardware in the studio. And you can have great fun with the stretch control here. And let's look at the sub menus. Uh, the time risers are there again, we've seen that. And last but not least, past all the Vijas, uh, the vocal atmospheres. Now, I was actually going to key all of these, but I thought sometimes you need a little bit of chaos in your production. So just having them here um, to just kind of hit in and play around with the tuning of the master patch and see if you can get one or two sounds in, duplicate the patch and then go again, find another tuning and hit them in. If I actually set them all up in tuning, it would all pretty much be on the same note and it would be kind of not as much fun to actually use. Now, let me quickly show you the filing structure of the pack so you can see just how much information there is actually in there and content. I'm hoping you're going to be coming back to this pack for years to come and always finding something new on it. This is not a small, uh, a small sample pack. It's probably one of the largest effects packs in its pricing point. And certainly with the additional scripting of uh, the contact instruments and everything else that's in there, it's value for money. It actually took us about three months on and off to put together. So it's been uh, a total labor of love. And I'm going back to it every single day at the moment, particularly whilst we're doing all of these promo videos. Now here's another prime example of Zeus in action on a more cinematic production. I'm going to take off the Zeus effects first so I can play you what's there already. And let me play you just the Zeus effects by themselves. We've got some Vijas percussive, some of the reverberant sounds, uh, a big reverberant snare, some rises and some crashes. So now let me play you this entire piece through with the effects. So as you can see, in that style of music, it really, really works as well, uh, particularly these thunderous, uh, the, the reverberant sounds. But just to show you how far we can go with this pack, uh, let me play you the part of the actual audio demo that appears on the promo videos. Here it is in its entirety at the moment. <laughs> So now let's remove the parts from this demo that aren't from Zeus, and it's only the drums and a little bit of bass. Everything else you're about to hear comes from the pack. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
And it's because of the amount of melodic content that we can get that kind of production going just with the contents of the pack. So look, I hope you've um, enjoyed this walkthrough and I hope you make something brilliant with the pack if you do decide to buy it. Um, for more information, come and find us at the F9 Audio Twitter account. If you haven't seen our free tutorial blog at f9-audio.com, do come and have a look. And if you want uh, instant access to all of the tutorials that we're putting up, do subscribe to us on our YouTube channel. Yeah.